What's up guys and What's up guys and welcome to our Wild Atlantic Way Fitness Forest Edition. So we've just started our trip today. It's officially kicked off and we're currently sitting outside the post office in Clonakilty in Cork. This is going to be the first stop we use on our trip. We're going to follow the coastline along and just see exactly... What am I trying to say? I don't know. We're going to follow the coastline along and just try and find as many hidden treasures as we can and record as much footage as we can to share with you so you can decide on if you want to do the, the Wild Atlantic Way and in particular what county you want to stay in most. So we're going to use Cork as the first episode. We're going to just talk about Clonakilty for a second here and Clonakilty is famous for three things. We've got Michael Collins who was born here. We've got a statue just across the way. After Michael Collins the next biggest thing is the black pudding that they sell or blood sausage as the Americans call it. Then the last thing is a distillery where they sell Clonakilty whiskey and gin. The next stop is Inchy Donny Beach and we're gonna go there right now and hopefully we'll be able to share some footage. So we'll show you when we get there. Okay guys, so we're literally just driving a really hairy moment right here. Have a look. Okay, it doesn't look that hairy right here, but it was very hairy. Good morning everybody. So we had a great night's nice sleep last night. It did get very windy at one stage. I really thought the van was going to be blown off the cliff but thank god it went and we had a great sleep. We didn't get up till half nine. Also in Clonakilty yesterday before we came to this current spot I got shot on by a bird and I haven't been shot on by a bird in a long time and anyway that was my luck. Turned out to be a lucky day. Yeah we Word. did get six donuts for three euros in super value and they were delicious yeah. so after Clonakilty we made our way to Inchy Donny Beach which we were very excited for we weren't that impressed it was lovely maybe it was because there was about three million people there yep and it was so hard to get parking it was unbelievable and we were going to stay there so we didn't bother staying we got into the van and off we went to the next spot which we came along to Red Strand and we thought we were going to sleep there but it was so windy and we just we couldn't do it i was like there's no point we can't set up camp here so we just kept driving that's the beauty of being in the van we can just keep driving if we don't like the feel of somewhere we'll just keep going so we did go on and where did we go to next we went to dundee island so you might see some clips about a few hairy moments about turning around little steep you might see some hairy moments of going around some narrow little roads 
and they were proper country roads and in the van it was a little bit stressed trying to get around them but it was fine um, there's an amazing spot there but the thing is there was about 10 or 15 cars when there's only supposed to be space for one or two so we decided to move on but we did just go for a walk up there and oh my god was it worth it it was a serious deep climb this cliff oh it was amazing and the weather was perfect it was beautiful i really wanted to stay there but the van was wasn't flat it was too tilted and we do have what's the wedges called chocks we do have chocks to kind of tilt the, the van to make it flat but there was too many people so what did we do we went off to another beach we drove on <laughs> oh we were to go so what did we do we drove on we <laughs> <laughs> so what did we do we drove on and we managed to get to this place which is called galley head view we'll give you a little walk around so it's great where we're parked right now you can see it's right on the edge it's amazing the, when the wind is heavy it's it's a bit crazy but we really enjoyed the stay here and we're gonna go over to skibbereen today so the next thing you're gonna see is probably us in skibbereen so we'll talk to you then well guys we've made it to skibbereen as we said it was pretty hard to drive through the town because the, the roads are so small there was nowhere to park so we're just in a little just on the outside of town um, we stopped off to a gym which is the first proper workout of the trip which yeah. we've been itching for to flex those muscles mm -hmm. and yeah so what we're going to do now is just park a little top up our water and that's it I think it was really nice to use the gym and just get a proper shower wash my hair scrub my skin <laughs> Wash the bits. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> um, we're gonna have a little mosey around Skibbereen now, and it's due to lash rain in the next two yeah, hours. There's an orange warning alert for where we are, so we're trying to seek shelter and find a spot tonight that's inland, not anywhere near the coast. So that might be tricky. Yeah, and the last thing we actually wanted to say was that we bought this mm. Wild Atlantic Way passport, mm -hmm. which I've been looking for for ages, and I can't find it in any post office. But they say local post offices on the wild atlantic way can have these so it's 10 euro and what you do is get a little stamp every stop you go to and you basically want to fill up your passport with stamps of places that you stayed so it's a really good idea and a good incentive to get as much of the trip as you can in and um, we're going to see how many bits we can have filled in now hang on where's our stamps oh our first two stamps yeah we got our first two Hey guys, so we are just back in the van. We had our walk around Skibbereen and we walked up every street we could. It's very lovely. It's a small little village. One thing though, it's not very camper van friendly. Mostly every car park says no camper vans allowed or no camping overnight. So we're not actually gonna stay here. We're gonna head on towards Baltimore and look for a park for night spot there. So hopefully we can get a good spot there. There is a big storm coming tonight, so we need shelter. Interesting facts about Skibbereen. War of the Buttons was filmed here. Isn't that great? War of the Buttons is an old Irish movie. I can't remember. No, well, don't put that in. <laughs> oh, fun, no. We actually just bumped in to a fellow self-built camper van Ireland group members, a couple, Katie and David. And oh my God, we can't believe it. We were parked in a little car park and they just pulled up beside us in their bus, Biddy the bus. So we're actually going to camp up with them in Baltimore tonight and have a few drinks. So we're gonna have a great time. Bo's ready too. Hi guys. Bye. Well guys, so as we said, we made it to Baltimore for the night and we happened to meet up with two people we know through Instagram. Biddy the bus. Sorry. We happened to meet up with two people we know through Instagram. Biddy the bus. We sat with them in their camper, uh, social, social distance. distance. <laughs> <laughs> we made sure we we're following those rules. And yeah, we just had a few drinks and just got to chat with them and you know hear their story and we're really excited to, to get to know them properly now. Uh, great people and you should follow them on Instagram. We'll, we'll put the Instagram name up here and yeah so basically after we went for our, our drinks and um, we went back to our camper 
the van was rocking so much look sorry the van was rocking so much it was crazy we thought the the roof and the solar panels were just going to come off and we're pretty pretty terrified to be honest we didn't get much sleep at all no it was terrifying so baltimore was one to remember yeah very windy the weather just made it impossible to stay there so we moved on to lock he lock Ina or lock hine it's spelled hine but i think the locals call the Ina, and it's amazing have a look Let's see so it's right there behind us it's a bit windy so you might not be able to hear us we might have to change this i don't know but yeah we're gonna stay here for a while um, go for a walk and then we're probably going to make our way to Skull in Cork yeah. if that's how you say it properly Skull Skull We made it to Skull and it's very lovely. It's very small, even smaller than the last place we were at. We walked around the town and that's really it. We were managed to get a parking spot but we've walked around, we found an outdoor gym which is great crack. And that's it but there's loads of lovely little walkways like this. So next we are thinking of making our way to Mizzen Head which as far as I know is the most southern tip of Ireland. So that should be so that should be very interesting so we'll see you when we get there well it looked like we're definitely on our way to mizzen head and so far our surroundings are absolutely beautiful So after last night with the weather being so bad we decided to stop off and we got an amazing spot just in the middle of nowhere. There was one camper around us which was nice. It was really quiet and we had a much better sleep than the night before which made us feel a lot better today. To add to that we have amazing weather as well and we decided to reach Mizzen Head and as you can see behind me Mizzen Head Bridge. So Mizzen Head is the last stop we're going to do on this Wild Atlantic Way trip, the Cork edition. Um, this is Ireland's most southwesterly point. Yeah, the views are just amazing. We'll show you some, some footage and some clips about what's around, but it's just fantastic. So we can't get enough of, of what we're seeing right now. We decided to pay the seven euro 50 each to get past the barriers and just come in here. And we're so glad we did because the views are incredible. All right, guys, so this is the end of our Wild Atlantic Way Cork edition. If you've made it this far in the video, we really appreciate it. We hope you've enjoyed it and got some insights into, you know, our trip all the way from Clonakilty down to Mizzen Head which is our last point. If you like the video please click on the like button and please subscribe below if you can. We'd really appreciate it as we're trying to grow the channel. We're also on Instagram, The Fitness Forest and in the next video we're going to start the Kerry edition of the Wild Atlantic Way trip so stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, see you in the next video!